the business has really grown quite a bit. Four or five years ago, we had less than 200 people. Fast forward five years later, we've got uh, over 500 people in Nigeria, which is more than a doubling of uh, the population that we have here. We've expanded tremendously in terms of our commitment for the uh, supply chain footprint. Considering the great contribution that GE Power has been able to provide towards GE in Nigeria, I'll say three things that I'm most proud of. Firstly, it's our team. Secondly, our footprint. With the acquisition of Alstom, we now have about 80% of the gas turbine power production facilities in Nigeria. We've also been able to expand our reach into both hydro, solar, and we're playing in a very big way across the entire value chain within power in Nigeria. Lastly, I think I'm most proud of our relationships within the government and our private sector customers. We've been able to come in to solve some of the most difficult challenges that they have within the power space. Back in 2012, GE Healthcare signed an MOU with the Ministry of Health. And under that MOU, we made an undertaking to support them in development of diagnostic and specialist hospitals, primary and rural care, and also supporting capacity building around education. So if you look at all of the large private organizations that GE are working with, GE are seen as the preferred company to work with in Nigeria. We've invested millions of dollars in facilities. One of such facilities is in Oné, where we fabricate and repair and maintain wellheads and Christmas trees. We also have a facility in Port Harcourt where we do maintenance as well of some of our equipment. Right now we do 100% painting and blasting locally and uh, we're planning to do 100% machining, 100% fabrication. GE walks the talk in terms of localization. The Calabar facility is intended to be a marquee development in GE's continued path to localization in Nigeria and on the African continent. Calabar will be a multi-use facility, but it will house our African center of excellence for power generation and turbine repair. Some of our um, key partners, the Cross River State Government, um, Nigeria Liquefied Natural Gas and LNG, as well as the federal government, are all very engaged in ensuring the facility to be completed. In the last seven years or so, um, been engaged to the greatest extent that we can with the Nigeria Railway Corporation uh, through the supply of 25 locomotives to NRC. And we're now looking to expand that, that engagement because, of course, um, as we all know, the federal government's objective is to actually revitalize the railway um, industry. GE Nigeria is fully committed to the development of talent in Nigeria. From a HR perspective, it's all about attracting, developing and retaining critical talent pools for GE Nigeria. We invested in accelerator programs, bringing in people on programs and putting that investment to make sure that we have a continued healthy pipeline of Nigerians ready for roles when they become vacant. Two years ago, we were named among the top 100 investors in Nigeria, and just recently, the president, President Buhari, named us among the most strategic investors in Nigeria. Localization um, is something that we've taken to heart and we've demonstrated that uh, we mean it, you know, in terms of what we bring to the country, but also how we do stuff in Nigeria. Thank you.